Miles Jack here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Miles? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I am doing. Uh, I'm, do I'm doing better for you calling into the show, which I greatly appreciate. <laughs> let's let's start with the obvious. How was Thursday night for you, Miles? Um, I mean, it was honestly, it was humiliating, man. It was embarrassing, you know, having to sit there and, you know, afterwards walking out, you know, having my girl to my left, my mom to my right, my grandma to the right of her and having to look at them. I mean, that was, that was a tough feeling, you know? So, um, yeah, it, was, it wasn't a good night, truthfully. But I mean, you, you know why though, right? I mean, I understand it was a long night, but it, it, it's not, it was purely a medical issue from everybody would say that. But that wasn't a, a, any sort of comfort for you at all, Miles. Um, you know, it, it's tough because you know I, I feel like all teams have doctors. You know what I mean? I, I feel like I did the combine, did the rechecks, and you know, for so much information to be leaked, um, you know, a week before the draft, you know, that week of the draft, I, I, I felt like I, I don't know, man. It, it was just kind of sour to me. <laughs> well, of course, you know, and and. <clears throat> I know your coach, Jim Mora, gave you a piece of paper with the numbers associated with Hall of Fame players that got drafted as well. Right, Miles? Yeah, he, yeah, he did. He did. He did. I, I went a little bit later than those guys, but, um, yeah, he did that. I, I appreciate him doing that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Marino went 27, et cetera, et cetera. And then you go 36. At, at one point during the first round of the draft, which team that passed on you were you most surprised about passing on you? Um... Miles? You know, it wasn't it wasn't even that, you know. I guess as it kinda got later past Oakland, past Atlanta, and we got past Indy, it kinda started thinking like, Hey man, maybe this isn't maybe this isn't your night. So, um yeah, I'd say as it got deeper on on and on, you know what I mean, I started to realize what was going on. And then when did you make when did you make the decision not to come back to the auditorium on Friday night? Um, it, it was just <laughs> That was that was kind of a decision that night, you know what I mean? Let's, let's just keep it in the family. Let's just spend time with, you know what I mean, the ones that it matters, and let's let's get a let's get a room in the Trump Hotel and just watch it from there. So you were you were in Chicago? You stayed in Chicago? Yeah, I didn't I didn't leave Chicago. I guess that was a report, you know what I mean? It's, it's a lot of reports on me, I, but um, no, I didn't leave Chicago. I actually, the video of me dunking the ball, I actually went to a, a gym, a Lifetime Fitness in Skokie, and just started hooping. You know, I got up that morning and just kind of. I had to work it off. Miles Jack joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. And then what was it like to see? Well, let's put it this way. Let me start with this. Jalen Smith, did you and he ever, did you have a, a bond this week, last week, when you were in Chicago together, b based on your your situations where you were definitely been top 10, if not top five players, if not for your medical concerns? You know, man, I, I've known Jalen for a while. Me and him are Snapchat friends. You know what I mean? So I've known him, and, you know, we definitely talked after the first round and was just kind of like, you know, we understood what was going on and everything, but at the end of the day, you know, we both ended up on phenomenal in phenomenal situations. So, I mean, I'm I'm happy for him and, you know, it's it's, it's all good for both of us. Yeah, and then, job. yeah I, I mean, because that really was an emotional moment when we saw him being picked. What what, what did you, I'm, su I'm assuming you saw it on the draft yourself. What were your I thoughts did. when you saw that? I, I was happy for him. You know, that was raw emotion. You know what I mean? You, you could see it on his face. Um, I was happy for him, genuinely happy for him. I mean, I think that's great. Anybody that's, that's going to get a job and get a chance to live out their dream and, you know, do that, I, I'm, I, I'm not against that. <laughs> no, of course not. I, I, that's not why I bring it up. Just just the knowing no. that you saw how he got picked and you know what he was going through. And then, thankfully, a couple of picks later, you went. What was that? Let's get to you here and now, uh, Miles. What was that moment like for you to get that phone call from Jacksonville? It was a feeling of relief. You know, um, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, that's where I wanted to go in the beginning. Um, and for it to all kind of work out like that, and me ended up going there, you know, and, and kind of me and Jalen Ramsey ended up on the same team. Like, that, that's kind of crazy. That's a dream come true, man. So, um, yeah, it was definitely just a feeling of relief. I was like, okay, cool. Now I got my foot in the door. Now I can play ball again. Miles Jack joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. And in terms of playing ball again, what is the status with your knee as it currently stands? I'm 100% I'm healthy, man. Um, I'm ready to go. I'll be there at Ricky Mini Camp on, on Thursday. Um, and I, I just can't wait to contribute, man. I can't wait to play this game and just, just, just prove people wrong. <laughs> so you're going to be out there. From the get-go, with no limitations, no limitations. 
And in terms of proving people wrong, what, what will that be? Um, staying healthy for a lengthy period of time? I'd love to know what your measure of proving people wrong is going to be, Miles. It's just playing this game again. You know, um, it, 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 a lot of, you know, that, that whole week was a whirlwind, and it was just people didn't know. Everybody was kind of, you know, it was a lot of question marks. But, you know, I just plan on playing this game. I don't plan on, you know, I just plan on playing the game, man. That's it. I, I plan on joining the Jacksonville Jaguars and just being a contributor and learning from the vets and, you know, hopefully carving out a role where I can contribute for the team, honestly. And in terms of that, are you gonna are you gonna lobby to play some offense too, Miles? <laughs> um, it's funny, I actually went when I went down there the running back coach tried to uh, kind of pull me aside, but the linebacker coach was it wasn't going for it. So I, I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> are you saying you sparked an inter coach assistant coach tug of war at one point <laughs> upon arrival in I Jacksonville? I, I wouldn't say that, but I, I guess he just, uh, yeah, he just wanted to talk to me, and I don't, I don't think the linebacker coach wanted that to happen. Well, you know, we in the media want to play stuff up as soon as we hear something, Miles. You know that. You oh, know. yeah, I already know. You, know. you know how this thing's right. If you could change one thing about the process, one thing, having gone through this entire situation, what what would it be about the evalu evaluation months for the NFL, Miles? You know, man, I, I just wish people would, I don't know. You know, it, it, me, I kind of feel like, you know, it was so much going, you know, so much weighing on me and everything. I just kind of wish, like, people would trust their doctors. I wish, you know, people would get the correct information. Um, and I, I just wish it was done a little bit cleaner. But I guess maybe I was that guy, you know. It's, it's a lot of people that have had the process go the way it's happened for me. For example, a guy like Rob Gronkowski who's balling right now, and they, they thought his back was going to give out. You know what I mean? So it's, it's all motivation, man, and I, I actually appreciate it, you know, because it's made me hungry. It's grounded me a lot. Um, and it, it's, <laughs> I just can't wait to play ball. Well, you know what round Gronk went in, right, Miles? He went, he went second. You know, what round, you know what round Maurice Jones Drew went in, right, Miles? He was the 60th pig. Yeah, <laughs> and he wore number 32 for the number of teams that passed on him. Yes, sir. Well, he, I'm, I don't know if I can get 31 because the, the Patriots didn't have a chance at me. But, uh, <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. I don't know where's number 31 on your team, uh, but we can we can, we can can seek that out. Uh, hey, Miles, <laughs> thanks so much for coming on the show. I really greatly appreciate it. Uh, when you come back to Los Angeles, you've got a seat here. I'd love to meet you in person, shake your hand, and um, and chat more with it about it with you, okay? Thank you, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Oh, before I let you go, you know, when, when Tunsil was dropping in the green room, um, did, did, was there a conversation amongst you guys? I know you're probably in your own world going on with what's, what was happening, but did you and the rest of the prospects know what was happening with Laramie Tunsil? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're sitting up in the green room and we can see NFL Network, you know, we can see the draft as it's going on. Like, we hear it before you guys, but we can see it going on, That's so I right. mean... Obviously, they, they displayed his situation and everything, but he was way in the back. But, um, yeah, man, thankfully he got drafted. You know, he's a hell of a player. And um, I'm, I'm sure he's eager to put on that, that Miami Dolphins uniform. Did you change the password on your Twitter account after that night? <laughs> no, no um, I, I don't. I don't I, hopefully, I don't get hacked. I mean, I don't have anything crazy on me like that. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> oh, you mean so you were the one who actually posted you dunking the basketball? That was actually oh, you yeah, who posted that. Oh, yeah, that was me. That was me, yeah. Okay. <laughs> when when was that? That that very day? That very week? When, when that, was that, that was that very very day. Me and my uncle got up. Um, we like, man, let's let's go hoop. Let's go get our mind off of this. So we went to go hoop, and I was just dunking. And he was like, man, you need to post this. So I was like, all right. And like, I guess it went, it went viral. Like, my phone was yes, it did. blowing up with noti notifications. I had to turn my notifications off. So. And you kind of Dominique <laughs> Wilkins did. You, you, you two-hand ripped it, Miles. You don't have the, you don't have the windmill one-hander in your repertoire? Oh, no, I got, I got the windmill. That, the two-hand was, I just wanted to show with okay. these. You know what I mean? I got you. <laughs> Understood. Yeah, just uh, it, take it easy. There's lots of miles ahead of you. Thanks again, oh, Miles. No, my, my basketball day is over. But okay. You're, 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 you just announced your retirement here on the Rich Eisen Show from basketball. Basketball. <laughs> that just happened. Great. Yes, sir. Thanks, Miles. Say hi to Jacksonville for us. And again, when you're here in Los Angeles, please come on in. Will do. Thank you. You bet. That's Miles Jack at Miles Jack here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.